Did you know you can live two to three weeks without food and only a few days without water? Why is that? Because our body greatly needs water. So if you want to learn more about how water affects the body, keep watching. Remember to follow me on Instagram at SavvyShe underscore Titi. Subscribe, comment, and like. Hi everyone and welcome. I'm She. Next to air, our body's greatest need is for water. Water is needed in the chemical processes of building new cells and repairing old ones. It helps to make blood and keeps our body temperature stable. It helps keep our joints supple and the lining of our mouth, nostril, throat, stomach and intestines moist. Water helps to digest food and carries away waste matter from our blood. Water is vital for life, so it can be considered a nutrient. Nearly all foods contain water and some, such as fruits and vegetables, are composed mainly of water. In addition to the water that is taken in foods as liquids, some water is produced during the many metabolic reactions of the body. Tap water is safe to drink in most developed countries where it is treated to kill harmful bacteria. Bottled mineral waters are often advertised as being healthy. There is no evidence that they are better for health than tap water and they are much more expensive. However, health authorities recommend drinking bottled water when staying in developed countries where tap water may be contaminated with disease-given bacteria. Moving on to the functions of water. Water is vital to life. 70% of the human body is water, which is found in every cell in the body. Water is required for all body fluids. Example, digestive juices, mucus, saliva, blood, urine. Water is required as part of many metabolic reactions. Water keeps the lining of mucous membranes, digestive tract, and bronchial tubes moist. Some nutrients need to dissolve in water for proper absorption. Water lubricates joints and membranes. Water helps regulate body temperature. Water removes waste products from the body and water maintains blood volume. Seventy percent or two-thirds of the human body is made up of water Water needs vary depending on the foods consumed. The environmental temperature, humidity, and lifestyle. People in the Caribbean and the tropics need to consume more water than those in colder climates because in hot weather, much is lost through sweating. Water is constantly lost in this way through the skin and also from the lungs, kidneys, and bowels. A minimum of two to three liters per day is recommended. Extra water is required during illness where a raised temperature results in increasing sweating. If vomiting or diarrhea has occurred, both of which can cause rapid dehydration, especially in babies. In lactation, when extra water is required for milk production, after intense physical activity such as sport, especially at a high altitude, when taking some medications, when alcohol or caffeine consumption is high, and after surgery, blood loss and burns. Water imbalances can be devastating. 
So when they occur, the body restores itself as soon as possible by adjusting both water intake and excretion as necessary. Individuals can survive for a long period experiencing a deficiency of nutrients, but they can only survive a few days without water. The body excretes about one pint of water a day to cleanse its fluids. To maintain water balance, it is important to consume at least a pint of water each day to avoid threatening losses. If an adequate amount of water is not consumed, the body's way of making a person aware is by signaling thirst. This leads an individual to drink water. The sensation of thirst does not begin until some time after water losses have started to exceed intake. A water deficiency that develops over a long time can trigger water drinking in time to prevent dehydration, but a deficiency that develops quickly may not. If the thirst mechanism is faulty in someone who is sick, elderly, or those engaging in athletic events, the body compensates by reducing the urine output as a means of conserving water. Fatigue, confusion, forgetfulness, headache, and elevated heart rate are symptoms of dehydration. The body's cleansing agent is water. Waste generated in the water must be removed before it builds up toxic levels. Water is continually being lost from the body through the lungs, urine, feces, and sweat. In order for the body to function properly, the water that is lost must be replaced and a balance maintained between intake and output. When too much water is lost from the body and not replaced, dehydration can be detrimental. Therefore, it is important that water should be consumed throughout the day. We lose water constantly when we breathe out and when we perspire. This is in the form of vapor, so we do not normally see it. If we eat a lot of fruit and watery foods and drink plenty of milk, fruit juices and other beverages, we will get a lot of water from these foods and will not need to drink as much water as if we have eaten dry foods alone. Water is produced when food is burnt up in the cells to give energy. Thirst is usually the best guide to the amount of water we need. If we drink whenever we are thirsty, we will take in as much as our body needs. It is unlikely that we can take in too much. What the body does not need, it gets rid of quickly. We can drink water with our meals, but we should not use it to wash down food. Food needs to be chewed well and mixed with saliva. After the food is swallowed, we can sip some water. Now I will just give you some brief information on the molecule makeup of water. In its purest form, it is odorless, nearly colorless and tasteless. It's in your body, the food you eat and the beverages you drink. At its basic, water is a molecule with one oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms bonded together by shared electrons. It is a V-shaped polar molecule, which simply means that it's charged positively near the hydrogen atoms and negatively near the oxygen atoms. Hydrogen bond is the reason behind many of water's special properties, such as the fact that it's denser in its liquid state than in solid state, which is known as ice. We've come to the end of the lesson today. I hope you would have learned something. And remember, every day you learn, you grow. So keep learning and you'll keep growing. Bye for now.